Friday night, NC State 34, North Carolina 30. In between <laughs> all of the scoring, North Carolina won 30-6, to six, except that NC State scored two touchdowns early and then two touchdowns late, and this is a perfect college football. <laughs> it was just, it made no sense, right? It was, it was just stupid. 360 total yards for NC State. Like, this offense is, they should be so much better. They have got yep. good pieces, and Tim Beck has been able to, to draw some explosive plays out of them. What Devin Leary's doing on offense uh, is impressive. He was 19 out of 30, 247 yards and four touchdowns. The running back position, Ricky Person, is is better than he has played. Like he just is, but the the scheme that they are running makes no sense. In some case, sometimes I watch this team play offense, and I'm like, "What are they doing?" And I like Tim Beck, and I I liked what they were doing last season. In this season, they did not expound on it at all. Like it was really really weird. Perfect ending, I think, for North Carolina for this season. Sam Howell, fourteen out of twenty six, <laughs> one hundred forty seven yards, one touchdown, one pick. Uh, had eighteen rushes for ninety eight yards. It, it, this is exactly what you would expect from North Carolina to to lose a nine point lead with two minutes left in the ball game, and give up an onside kick, and then give up the game winning touchdown with twenty whatever seconds left. This is perfect rivalry game. That the the way that you would hope that all of these rivalry games would go is incredible crap that you would have never expected. The fact that North Carolina had two hundred ninety seven rushing yards in this game was incredible. Uh, it was seven point two a clip in this. British Brooks, who I don't think has played a whole lot this year. Like, Ty Chandler has kind of been the guy. Ty Chandler had six attempts for 59 yards. British Brooks came in and had 15 attempts for 124 yards here. Sam Howell, again, 18 for 98 rushing. NC State could not stop him on the ground. And NC State has had, like, an incredible defense this year. But they could do nothing against North Carolina. They got those two fourth, or the, excuse me, the two first quarter touchdowns. And then the two fourth quarter touchdowns. Turns out that's all you need. It was pretty good. Did you? Uh, were you able to watch this ball game? Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I was able to see. This. Outside of Spencer Rattler, has anybody cost himself more money this year than Sam Howell? No, no, I don't think so. And, and here's the reason why. Hang on, look. Don't, this is why you can't just look at numbers because there's going to be a bunch of NFL talking heads that are going to go out there and they're going to show stats and they're going to see a shitload of touchdowns, a shitload of yards, not a lot of stuff. Like they're going to look at numbers and they're going to say, great. And I talked about on our group text while this game was going on. If he leaves this drive to win the game, it will be the first meaningful drive he's led all year. Yeah. Yeah. Like all those big numbers came in blowout wins where they scored gazillions of points. But when they play a decent team, he has been shut down, he has been pushed around, and he has not performed well at all. And they didn't play a lot of decent teams this year, and they still ended up six and six. And that's pathetic. And that's not all on Sam, by the way. That's not a complete no, no, a, a lot on of him. It, a lot of it's the offensive but, line. Because he, but you're he was, talking about a guy no that was protection. supposed to be number one or number two coming out of this draft of quarterbacks this year. And, and now he, and he always I, can I don't think come back. Close. He can come back next season because he's only I know, a junior. I think, he, but. I think he should because there's no way on earth he's going to get go, go get Paul. Uh, unless they just use numbers and they say, well, look how great his numbers are and whatever. But. I, I think I, uh, he I needs think he to cost himself a lot. He needs to sit down and have a conversation with Mac Brown and, and Phil Longo and figure out. All right, are you guys going to go into the transfer portal and get me some offensive linemen? Yeah, that's, well, but, that's then, but hang on now, you can't just fix an offensive line by just going and getting dudes and plugging them in. That's not how old line works. Oh, man. I know, I know. Like offensive like, line is not one of those things you can just flip a switch and fix. No, no, I agree. I agree. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.